welcome back to my channel everybody so today's video is a day before I put out that lying artist video um, little update and heads up my mother is having company so I'm not allowed over at her house for nine days I feel like such a kid like so I'm gonna have to film like nine videos which there's no way I'm doing that but you never know but anyway um, today's video I actually wanted to do myself it was like a last minute idea it's a terrible idea seeing as I just dosed um, on my methadone for the day but that's okay because there's always one day that you just gotta give it up and enjoy yourself so but the reason it's bad for methadone is because it's like literally there is a hundred dollars worth of candy in here and not just any candy like not just candy you find at the supermarket like this is like vintage candy like this is the candy your mom and your grandpa and your great great grandpa ate when they were younger um i thought this would not only be pretty cool sounds but at the same time um, pleasures me as well, so we get best of both worlds. No, I'm but uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this. But anyway, it's bad for people who are on methadone because you're not supposed to really eat sweets because it eats away at the medication. <laughs> so I'm over here, I just dosed like 20 minutes ago, like 25 minutes ago, and I drove straight from there to my mom's, which is here. And I'm about to just drown myself in sugar, so I thought we could just get right in and I'll explain, you know, my relation to the candy. I'm serious. I went in that candy store and I've known it's been there for years. I get certain candies there, but I went in there and I was like, this is a perfect video. So I just started grabbing shit off the shelf and like spending money I did not have at all. Like this was a terrible investment to my channel, like candy invested into my channel like it'd be one thing if I bought a new microphone or camera no I bought candy so let's hope that the um, revenue <laughs> this video makes up no but I just want to have some fun so this background's like so crinkled up like I folded it one time whatever so the first piece of can I'm gonna be saying this the whole video along with coffee too like sugar and coffee I used to eat these when everybody is like, why do you eat these? There's something wrong with you. My dad would always like, he's like, how do you like these? I love these things. These are the satellite wafers, which I just call them the wafers, candy wafers, and literally these remind me of going to Catholic church because I was born Catholic, like I was born into Catholicism and then raised, raised Christian, so when I would go to church I'd get communion at like a baby, which makes no sense. This really is a waste of candy. Like I hope that like my kids and my husband and the friends I don't have want to eat these with me. No, I have friends, they're just all online. But yeah, they're these little wafers if you've never seen them. I have to focus on so you might not be able to see the true colors unless I do this. It's like a it's a very dark blue actually. You're seeing oh wait, there we go. All right, because if I hold it up, oh, well, the color's focusing. But they're these wafers, literally like this, like crispy bread type thing full of sprinkles. I won't eat like a pig today, I promise. That Dunkin' Donut mukbang, mukbang video I did, like the dislikes on it for some reason, like I never get like dramatic dislikes on my videos, like maybe a hundred compared to 
like 3,000 or something. Like it's a small percentage, but that video was like half and half. And I'm like, what did I do wrong? But I'll eat one more of these. But yeah, these are what they are. They're called satellite wafers. And I believe these are the vintage, um, like this is the original design. Let's see, when was it established? Edible satellite wafers. Like where would they not be edible? 1950. Garrett satellite wafers have been in America since the 1950s. The nostalgic candy has enjoyed a great reputation, particularly in the Northeast, where people love these candies so much they'll do anything to get their hands on them. But yeah. Like, they're so good. I don't know. But yeah, you'll listen to the, like, texture almost, like... It's like Catholic um, communion when they put the these literally it's this on your tongue and then they give you the grape juice. Some churches actually give real wine, but mm. all right. some of the stuff I have to like wrap up immediately. I'm gonna get some tape. Let's see what's the next one I'm gonna do. You guys don't understand that there is so much candy in here. Like a hundred dollars worth of candy. My kids really enjoy these. These are very old. These have been around like my grandma eats the light bulb when she was alive. I remember she was the one who actually introduced these to me. I'm trying to figure out a... Ew. I never read that. I'm trying to figure out when it was made. Um, usually they have like a uh, estate on it, but not that I can see. This candy changes with the weather. In cold, dry weather, it may be crisp or chewy. In warm weather, it will usually be soft. However, crispy, chewy, or soft, this candy is fresh and tasty. Which, obviously, if you are five or older, you could definitely make that call that marshmallow gets soft in. But yeah, this is what it looks like. You can tell it's so old, like, obviously not the candy, maybe, but like the brand and the packaging, like, that would never fly in today's, you know, youth, so. Like, do you guys remember? I'm so stuck in the 90s, like, I'm obsessed. Like, the shirt I found it the other day, I was like, this reminds me of, like, the clothes my mother would wear in the 90s. Like, I love it. But, um, do you guys remember in the 90s, like, the Gushers commercials where they would all be, like, having the Gushers as a head, and they'd be like, yo, man, you get the Gushers. Obviously, I'm going to choose the blue and pink because, you know, crisp and chewy. Who knew? But is the cone crispy and chewy? Hmm. Hmm. These are really good. Um, I'll save that one for my daughter and my son, whoever wants it. And then I'll obviously give them my ring pops in there. Like, I'm going to have to split this 50-50 without them getting the same thing. They're going to hate it. But yeah, it's just a little marshmallow in a cone. And my um, Yeti mic is right below this. And I just went like, and all this dust just went in it. So, uh, I'm going to have to clean that. One more bite. Because we have a lot to go through today, like... Mm. 
Okay. Oh my god, you guys. These have been my favorite candy. Like, I'm gonna say this with everything I got. Like, everything that I grew up with, it was all different candies, but these right here. Nickel Nips. They are these, if you've never seen them before, this is what they look like. And they're these wax bottles with juice in them, like pure sugar juice. Like, and like when I was younger, I, I can't do it now because of my teeth. You can see my overbite starting to come back, but I used to like chew on the wax and like my mother would get so mad. She'd be like, what in God's name? Because <laughs> you're not supposed to really eat the wax. Like, that's why these are so dangerous because like, imagine eating so many bottles of wax. And another thing, every single piece of candy I've pulled out so far has red 40 in it. Red 40 is a dye that is literally illegal in every single other continent, country, place in the world except for the U.S. Um, it dyes most things red, like most foods and candy and things like that, but there's a lot of places in the U.S. now that it's banned as well. But in the older candies, they still add it in there. They don't want to change their formula. You can actually taste it, um, for those who say you can't. That's bullcrap because there's like the uh, blow pop lollipops with red 40 that make the whole thing and you're like, ah, oh, I can taste it so sweet when you find out the rest of the lollipop is just like cane sugar and so, but I'll show you what I mean. I really never ate the green, yellow, or orange ones. It was always like, like I was so excited when I found out my grocery store. And they're like stuck together, that's why I'm like peeling it off. See, you could tell it was stuck together. And there's a lot of juice in these. Usually they would only fill them to like here and you'd only get like a very small. But uh, yeah. All right. I'm gonna bite it off like I used to. Like my teeth are so not in shape for this. Like they're ready to fall out like I'm not fucking around. I'm not kidding, I'm sorry. I wanted to keep this kid friendly today. Ah, you see it squirt? I'm not getting this new shirt all destroyed. I already sucked the juice out of it, but you see it? It's just complete wax, like it's literally wax. That's it. So these I don't have to wrap up since they're wax, they won't dry out or harden or anything. Now I, uh, he, it won't come out, like, oh, 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 I was wrong. <laughs> this lipstick, I'll have to tell you the story of it in a minute. Mm. Ew, that didn't taste like it normally did. And that stuff is my lipstick. I bought this lipstick like two days ago. And this stuff I have scraped on my skin. I've literally took my husband's fingernail and asked him to grind it into my skin. This is the, um, I can't even remember the brand of it. It's like, uh, it's not Rimmel, it's L'Oreal, but it's, or no, it's Revlon or something. I'll have to show you guys or put it in the description. This stuff will not come off. Like, like it's not. You know what I mean? See? It's not coming off. It just won't. Like, it's stuck. And it's been stuck on my hand for, like, days now, so. But those were the nickel nips. Nickel nips, nickel nips, nickel nips. Nickel nips. Alright, let's get off the, uh, crappy candy kick and go to something, like, really... Or, you know what? We'll do one more crappy... Because I think this candy doesn't really have flavor. It's the texture, like those wafers and the nickel nips. And I guess the cone, because it's like crunchy and schmallows. But everybody has had these in their life. And if not, these things were basically made in like the 20s. Like when candy first started being made. Um, Heather Feather ASMR used these in her um, Candy Queen video. Candy Castle. Candy Queen Castle or something. I love that video, I do. I don't really watch her content, I just never really 
agreed with it, but she's a great ASMR artist, like she is. But these are the candy buttons. Ask, like, if you have any great grandparents around or grandparents, ask them when they've eaten these and if they were like the only candy available when they were really younger. But uh, surprisingly, this doesn't have red 40 in it, it has a red 3. Usually dyes are very, very bad for you. But you see how it says old fashioned candy buttons? Like there's really, Necco's like the brand, it's so old, it's like your grandmother's candy, so. And it's basically just a sheet with buttons on it, like these really flavorless candy buttons that are edible for some reason. And it comes in a pack of two every time. Very thin paper. I could probably eat the paper. I think she had a very large feather feather. She had like a large um, thing of these. Like they were like extra large size buttons, but maybe I'm wrong. They're so stuck on there. So whenever I rip one off, watch. Every time you get the paper stuck with it, like you're always gonna be eating the paper, so. It's time to trip. No, I'm kidding. I mean, they're literally all like, trying to get it without the paper this time, but you can still see it, like, it's pathetic. Mm -hmm. They all taste the same. It's like a citrusy, lemony flavor, if that makes sense. I remember eating tons of them as a kid. As a kid, you eat anything with sugar, but they actually did studies that sugar really doesn't affect children. I mean, health-wise it does very much, but when it comes to like sugar rushes and things like that, no way. That's what I seen a study on, so don't think that I'm, because it's like, I don't know, my kids don't, it's like your kids are getting excited because it's sugar. Like, they're like, oh, it's candy, it's bright, it's colorful, you know what I mean? It's ice cream, it's cake. Um, but there's sugar in broccoli, there's sugar in uh, corn, there's... Sorry, I'm like really excited and this is just so bad, like coffee and... I can't stand people who, well, I can't stand it when she touches me. <laughs> but I don't like people who, um, I don't, it's not like I don't like the person, I just don't like their habits when they slurp soup. Alright, let's get to something, like something good. Like, there's a ton of good things in here, but I put all the like older stuff on the top and all of these are old Every everything in this bag right here is like when your parents or your grandparents were alive like if they you know what I mean all of it here we go you might not think that you might not think that these um e-fruity mini burgers are when your grandparents or your it's upside down. Look at this. It's literally upside down. But anyway, yeah, ask your um, parents about these. I don't know if they're that old in regards to like grandparents, but. Let's 
see if there's red 40 in this. Yep, they have it covered up with a little sticker, but if you can see it, maybe. Come on. But anyway, basically, if you don't know what these are, they're these gummies that are shaped like, you know, certain foods. Um, the most famous ones are the burgers and the um, pizzas and the hot dogs. And then they have the sugar fries and the um, sugar or the gummy Coca-Cola. They come in like these big packs and that, excuse me, that was the one that I was going to get, but I was like, eh, screw it for now. I love these things. Like these things I will eat like over and over. And they have such a, like a, I'm trying to think of the exact smell of these. Like it reminds me of something when I was younger, but these, when you first open them, the smell is so sweet and like good. And I know this stuff is so bad for you, but they're so good. And so many kids really enjoy them um, if you introduce them, but they don't come apart in like every single slip, like there's the bun. I guess the uh, cheese and pickle and the patty and the bun, but yeah, they don't come apart like like each single so. But these really are old. I can remember my mom eating them when I was little. We'd go to the candy store. And she'd eat, or no, you know what? It wasn't my mom, it was my dad. I always used to stretch them out to see if um, it would make more of it, you know what I mean? But it's really just, <laughs> the guy was like, I have two now, can I stretch this out for 45 minutes? Okay. I'll be honest with you, some of this stuff I really don't want to eat. So I'm probably just going to save it for my husband or my kids, but I'll still explain. Because honestly, the reason my back tooth is starting to hurt, you know, the reason I thought that this was going to help is because of the milk will take away the um, sugar. See that, you guys? This is why you take care of your teeth. It's like, okay, my teeth look decent on the outside when you look at me like, but watch. Mm -mm. Those are fillings, by the way. Those are analgram, analgam fillings. And then this is the tooth that needs hold. So you get the fillings off of it. And that's why you don't eat stuff like this. But anyway, these had to be when your grandparents were alive. These are just the Smarty Lollipops. Um, now I'll be completely honest with you, I don't think that that was the brand. Smarties have been around, I mean I keep saying they've been around, but they really have like, again the whole reason for this is to show you that like, it's really not about all about like new age today. Like, I love, it's like history will always repeat itself. And that's why candy stores haven't gone out of business everywhere all over the world. I got this stuff from Gardner's. And now Gardner's is a local, I'm not sure. I know Gardner's candy has made its way around the world, like, but it was originated, I believe, somewhere out near Pittsburgh, PA. Um, but it's very famous. It's very worldwide, I believe, like in the aspect of like maybe just the US, but... Um, it was originated around here. And they make the peanut butter melt-aways, which I'll get to. And I just used the bathroom for the very first time in like three days. Like, this is ruining everything. But yeah, these are just Smarties. They're like big Smarties. And if you don't know what Smarties are, I have a pack in here. They're like very tiny little, um, chiclets almost like they're they're just little circular candies that are kind of chalky when you eat them but they're good like I actually enjoy them very very sweet and these if you've ever had them before don't tell me that you ate it all at once like it will break your teeth like but yeah I'm trying to get at that 
there's more I'm like itching around here because this collar thing is making me itchy but um everybody like all the teenagers and stuff like that like are so so like new age and like oh my god like you know the new sugar block cereal it's like when I was younger I remember dying when I was watching Rugrats and like they had the Reptar cereal and they came out with it I think for like a little bit like 90s babies and 80s babies 70s and below like they remember things like you know the gushers which are still around today but they changed the look of it and it sucks you know what I mean they finally brought back french toast crunch excuse me if you had some you're so lucky I remember it was sold out everywhere in our town and they still have it they brought it back I believe you can still get it um and another main reason I did this is because I just beat Breath of the Wild on the Nintendo Switch and like literally like all the shrines all the side quests except for like I think maybe six or seven village quests but all the main quests like to get the alternate ending the memories everything I beat it I beat the entire game and I'll get into that in another time like I have this um, cosplay on my wish list that like I'm going to get eventually I have it there because it's pinned and I'm literally going to do like a two-hour Breath of the Wild video like I'm so obsessed but anyway that reminded me of like you know all the Zelda games and stuff and like how over time things were changed and but it was still a beautiful game but recently I started playing Splatoon 2 I've never played the original Splatoon but uh I don't know it's so new age like it's a game based for kids but anybody can play it like I love going in there and beating everybody <laughs> I'm such a sore loser for example perfect example. Ring Pop has never changed their design. Ring Pop, well, you know what? I take that back. I believe the letters were a little bit different, but overall, this entire design right here has always stayed the same. Now, Ring Pops were around, obviously. I remember getting them whenever I was a little, little girl, like walking with my dad to the candy store at four or five and getting penny candies, which, by the way, I forgot at home because I was eating them. But anyway, if you don't know what a ring pop is, it's basically a ring with a juicy, like a really flavorful candy that looks like a ring. I'm going to open it, give it a few licks, and put it back. Because we're already 30 minutes in, and I've only went through... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6, going on 7, and I have like 40 more pieces in here. So I don't know if we'll... Maybe there will have to be a part 2 to this. So if you guys want it. But anyway, when you open it, you always want to open it this way if you ever want to save it, which don't tell me if you've ever had them that you would stick it back in to save it and then when you pull it out it'd be so sticky and so humid and ugh. to it ew ew anyway see they're like obviously meant for kids like I can't put this on anything I have very tiny fingers though here they're a well, little bit loose on my pinky I remember um, when I was younger I always wanted to give a ring pop to a boy or a girl and be like I like you will you marry me people used to do it all the time but usually they look a lot better than whatever's wrong with this one but see how it's shaped like a ring? And the smell's kind of syrupy. Mm. Is this a sour ring pop? No. My teeth keep getting stuck to it. Ow. Oh shit. Mm. But see how this lipstick doesn't come off like oh. <laughs> very sweet. Mm. Bye bye methadone. One second out. Now it's stuck to my finger. Yeah. 
pulling this out is going to be a trick. Alright. So that was a ring pop. Ooh. This stuff. I remember when I was younger. I'm going into the sour stuff now. But this stuff was around in like the 80s or the 70s. No, not the 70s. I take that back. Around the 80s or 90s. It's called Two Tarts. Definitely the 80s. And it's basically like a, um, it's like a spray that you spray in your mouth. And it's so sour. Um, like tarty, but sour. It's liquid candy. It's so bad for you. Like, I don't know why they sell this stuff. And if you're ever interested in where to get this stuff, they always sell it online or in your local candy stores. Like, I'm not talking about Walmart. I'm talking about, like, Every town usually has like a vintage candy store and it's been there forever. It sells this stuff. They usually call it penny candy, like any 90s or 80s or below babies. Don't you remember your parents or your grandparents like taking you for a trip to the candy store and you'd get the little baggie that would fold in and you'd get your penny candy. Like you'd be able to pick like 200 pieces of candy because your dad had like two whole dollars. And back then two dollars was worth the world. Like, my kids get a dollar and they're like, oh, money. Like, they're so ungrateful and it's my fault. So, I'm just trying to figure out how to open this. And it's not looking good, guys. Oh my. Don't open things with your teeth. Especially people like me. These literal teeth are falling out. And I'm not kidding. Like, you know the dreams that you have when you're little of your teeth falling out? That's literally the reality of my life right now. Sad. I'm ruining my nails that I paid $40 for to keep from getting hangnails. Alright, there we go. They really have this sealed. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Ooh. Usually these are sprays, huh? Okay. Mmm. That's what I'm talking about. It's like a yellow, see? Yeah, like a yellow tart. Mmm. I don't know how I feel about that. It says it's sugar free, but honest to God, I don't believe that. Let's see. So, um, again, usually these would be a spray, but uh, have you guys ever heard the, the whole baby fetish thing where you're, the, they're into people wearing diapers? Eh, to each their own. Littles, they're called littles. I try to get my husband into it, like him being daddy and me being little. And the kids go to bed, obviously. You see your mother walking around in a diaper and you're like, what in God's name, mother? I am only four. But yeah, so there's that. That was a little bit too much. I don't know what that is, but it came from the candy. So let's wash it down with some coffee. Some caffeine coffee. Okay. But yeah, I put this lipstick on like all sideways. I have, oh, I, sorry about that. I'm trying to keep this as ASMR as possible. I'm not going to eat this, but I did, didn't I tell you guys earlier? The gummies, I forgot I got this. See, they're more known for the pizzas. And like, I like how it's kind of like a real Pizza Hut pan pizza when you take it out. See? That's kind of cute. I don't think they intentionally meant to do that, but then you just peel it back and it's singled. So it's not just the whole pizza, but e fruity. All right, so these, I'm honestly going to be completely real with you guys. I really don't want to open these, but I'm gonna give these to my husband because he actually really enjoys these. He was born in the 80s, so he can totally remember these being um, around when he was born. Well, give or take. Um, 
but I like these generic and there was actually like a real one of these like coke and like sprite and everything like came together and made these flavors but they went away um, but anyway they're obviously like cans of soda and you just flick back the top it even shows you right here to flick back the top and they're these like little crunchy candies and they fizz in your mouth they're like I always thought they tasted very bland so I didn't really like them that much but here is crash which is crush sprint which is sprite Loca cola which is coca-cola and splash which is um I don't know what that would be crush clash I don't know it's grapes so any um 90s or below babies that can tell me let me know they come in like a like a literal case like I thought that was so cute how they did this and that's how they actually wrap the coca-cola cans and stuff not over the top but around with like plastic my uh, husband's father oh bless him um, works at a local famous store oh I forgot I have this I'll eat this because I love these oh wait no well these are what I was talking about earlier these would come in the pizza and the burger gummies, only they wouldn't be sour. This is a can, I guess, of cherry soda, but it's, um, usually it would be like brown and black for the Coke and then brown for the top of the bottle, but they would look just like this. I'm not going to eat this. I thought this was a Sour Patch Kid. <laughs> I guess I accidentally grabbed it, but these are all so old, and I just think it's so freaking cool you know what I mean like that they still let people buy this stuff today like it's really nostalgic for me I had an amazing childhood unfortunately my teenage to adult years were a very post-traumatic like stress disorder like I have it very severely and for the things I've went through but I'm very blessed to say that my childhood was brilliant up until about 11 when I started getting molested but when I was a little little girl I have incredible memories and I can cherish that because I think it gave me the compassion and the love I have for others today. Um, I don't know why everybody's tried these and every, anybody who's into the uh, fetish stuff has tried these as well. If I knew that my mother-in-law wasn't watching, I would say something really, really funny. But, uh about Pop Rocks and somebody in my family who likes to eat them. I'm giving a ball drop. <laughs> but um, yeah, I keep saying ba da ba da ba da ba da ba For those who don't know, these are famous. These have been around forever. Um, they didn't look like this at first. Actually, I take that back. Yes, they did. But they were a little bit less designed. It would just say Pop Rocks and stuff. I wish I could get the pictures of all this stuff and put it inside of the video, but that's too much editing for me. And I don't have time with two kids, so. <laughs> anyway, uh, Pop Rocks are these, they come in this like foil package almost, like thick foil. I don't know why. I don't know if they seem light that they would like pop, but it's very easy to open. I thought it wouldn't be. You open them up. And I like how it's kind of like you can seal them back up, like, you know what I mean? Like it'll fold, but anyway. This is what they look like inside. I don't, oh, it's bubble gum. Is this actual bubble gum though? Oh yeah, it is popping bubble gum. No wonder it was a whole dollar. Usually they're only like 25 cents. Usually I swallow my gum, but when I was younger, Anybody back when, I don't know if they still tell kids this today, but whenever you would chew your gum and swallow it, it wouldn't digest for several years. That's what it would sound like. I like it. It's like Pop Rocks mixed with bubble gum. Now I understand. 
and then kids would get so frustrated because when they would try to save it they realized that they put their mouth around the edge and all the pop rocks would stick to it and pop so it'd be like pointless because the whole fun part is when they pop you know kind of tastes like salami or bologna i'm sorry whenever it kind of the flavor goes away too it's like eating bologna ew mm -mm. yeah i don't like that i don't like it i don't like it at all next I still have so much stuff and we're already 40 minutes in. Oh my god. Here we go. Let's go through some little, little candies. And then, ooh, the smell of it, it always does. Oh my goodness. Now these have been around, like I keep saying, whenever your great, great, great grandparents were alive. Like, please show the estate. But unfortunately, um, what this stuff is made with, it's palm oil. But anyway, these things are called, I'm gonna take a little bite because I have to throw it away. It's completely like liquid and I don't know why. Maybe because it's been sitting on my lap, I don't know. These are called ice cubes and they literally taste like an ice cube almost. Like they're very minty, very chocolatey, but it's made with palm oil, which is the stuff that is put in peanut, most peanut butters. And you know, they cut down the trees and kill the orangutans and it's very, Please forgive my ignorance if it's not an orangutan, but it's basically cutting down the trees and wherever and killing the monkeys. But usually they look like an ice cube. They have little slits in them. Yeah, they're like really cold. It's weird. But I, I, I really truly apologize for like whatever happened to that because I can't tell you. There's a dead bee on the floor, that's not good. I don't know why, I don't know why I didn't see it. But tell me you've had these, you guys. These have been around forever. Made in a facility that does not process nuts, which is actually very respectful. Anybody who's ever been a child has eaten these, and these are cichlids, one of the more popular older candies that have come around and stayed around. Excuse me, I believe you can buy these at like Walmart and stuff like that's how popular they were. Excuse me, see I'm starting to get, ugh. And I like how they like put gluten free and you know there's no nuts in that, that's very respectable. But anyway, I would just, usually people like would try to open them by pulling them, I just go. Chocolate, they're just a little chocolate crispies. Kind of like a Skittle with chocolate inside. I take that back. Kind of like an M&M. It's basically a circular M&M that doesn't taste like an M&M. Mm. I don't know why they keep putting red 40 everything. It says red 3 and 40. But these are six lids. open these but I kind of do just to show you what they are but uh basically these are this Smarties lollipop Smarties like I said you're gonna break your fucking or you're gonna break I'm sorry break your freaking teeth eating this but anyway they come in these are super old like 40s or 50s and you just pull them open like so and they're kind of like a sort of tasteless candy, but the sweetness of them are very good. And they actually do have flavors. Like you'd think they were all one flavor. Maybe it's in my head. Because when I eat a red one compa compared to like a green one, the taste is very different. My teeth are starting to hurt. But yeah, they're kind of... See, I'm not trying to be gross. I'm just trying to show you that they're very chalky. The lollipops are a lot, a lot different. Now I'm gonna try like a green one to prove my theory in my head. Yeah, they're definitely different flavors. If 
there is anybody like I'm not even kidding like usually I don't ask for things like that like directly like that if I'm very desperate I'll ask you guys for help I know this is a complete contradiction because I'm like drinking coffee I'm eating sugar if there is anybody who watches my channel who is a dentist I don't care where you are in the USA I will come to you could you please take some money off of my dental work like I'm begging you like I will make you ASMR videos for life like I don't want to get dentures you guys and unfortunately that's the fate of my bottom teeth and I heard with dentures um, when you eat it's not even people don't even care that the fact that they're when they're chewing your teeth kind of come out no like they complain about losing taste of all foods like they're like my teeth they used to taste so good like food used to taste so good and now they don't it's terrible but I can't afford screw-ins. I don't think anybody can. They're like 3,000 a tooth. How many teeth do I have? I was born with like 38 teeth. Yeah, like I'm not kidding. And they had to pull like 12 of them. Because mm -hmm. they were all like growing up here when these were growing down here. All right, I'm not gonna eat these because they take a long time. But these are the everlasting Charlie and the Chocolate Factory gobstoppers. What's really interesting is I'm not exactly sure that these were... Like, did these come from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Do you know what I mean? Like, or were they around and then they made a movie about all the candy that was from Willy Wonka? Like, it doesn't even say Willy Wonka on here, does it? It doesn't. Oh my god. It's just like product of Nestle. Yeah, maybe. The everlasting golf stopper. But yeah, they're these little balls, and it's literally like a jawbreaker. Each one comes with a different color inside, and then in the center there's like a tarty chew, and it's really good. Not like a chew, but a chalky chew. Okay. We're getting to the end, kind of. Oh. I'm not gonna open these either, but I will probably later. These are my favorite. They are the gold nuggets. These have been around forever, okay? Like your great, 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 like mummies in Egypt, like people are still chewing them with their like bone ass teeth. Like these candies are delicious. They're the gold nugget gummy or gum. It's gum. But when you open it, it's so cool. It's in a plastic wrap so you don't, kids don't spill it everywhere. But I love how it's in like a bag of gold. You know what I mean? Like the like sacks they used to put stuff in. And then, hold on, let me open it. I'll show you. Oh, shoot. Paper's holding it apart. There we go. I kind of just ripped it open myself. But see it? You just open it like this. And then they look like this. See it? And they're so good, like, they're so sweet. I don't know what I did wrong, uh oh. There we go, just tying it back. See, just throw it over your shoulder. Cutting on a soldier. I remember on the old parts of U2, whenever they would have the song, do your boobs hang low, do they low, do they low? But anyway, to and fro, I don't know. But yeah, these are so good, they're very sweet. And they're just little gold nuggets, and you eat them, and you chew them, and you probably shouldn't swallow them like I do, but I do, so. Well, I totally recommend those. <sighs> Growing up, and to this day, I eat these. Probably not. Oh my goodness, they never had this in their lives. I'll explain in a minute. But um, everybody has had these. Everybody, I eat them still to this day. Probably not as often as I used to, but anytime I see these in like a store, I grab a pack. I love candy. I love nerds. These are the best candy. These are probably one of my favorite candies, but my absolute favorite candy, I, I'm surprisingly, I don't have in here. Um, the actual birthplace of it was Altoona, Pennsylvania, which is like where I have to drive every morning. So I get to drive past the uh, statue, which is like a gas thing. It's mallow cups. Mallow cups are so good. They're like this chocolate 
Reese's looking thing and then when you open it it's like this coconut ish but it's not coconut it is and it's not it's like this coconut cream it is so good please try a mallow cup but anyway that's my favorite candy this is my second favorite probably and for those of you who have never tried nerds they come in a few different flavors but the original flavor has always been strawberry and grape and now I'm not sure if it's the exact names because these look very different um, they kind of stuck to the original design but not really for example it never said for the love of nerds like this isn't no Mandela effect like I'm being real it would just say nerds and then below it would say tiny tangy crunchy candy and uh, you open the top like this if I can do it when I was younger my best friend Zach she uh, one year she bought me for Christmas, like, everybody pitched together, like, I used to have real friends, and then I let them down because I got involved in drugs and then dropped out of school, but anyway, um, they all pitched in that year and bought me, uh, this awesome nerds pillow, and then with the pillow, it was an awesome, like, uh, there was another piece of candy pillow, and then they bought me a blanket that was the corpse's bride. And I really loved it because I used to be obsessed with all that stuff. It just kind of makes me want to cry now because I used to have like such good friends who we would all like ask our parents to buy um, each other's stuff for Christmas. That way we always had something to open and celebrate together. We would always bring our presents to school because that was the best is getting a present in school. I don't know why this isn't opening. I'm like ruining the top. All right, here we go. So the top looks like this. And then there's the chair, or strawberry. And there is the, if I could ever open it, because either anybody who's ever, who's ever eaten these knows that always one side is like messed up or doesn't like release, but yeah. So you can either do one side together or do what I'm about to do. Usually I just put them in my mouth and eat them, but I'm gonna show you. As you can tell, like one grape came out, but they're very sweet, crunchy candies. Uh, I usually suck the coating off and then chew them, but people hate that. But those were nerds. I like how on the back it says, thoughtful portion, two teaspoons. Do you know how big that is? Like, like this big. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably not going to eat the rest of these except for one of them. Or you know what? Yeah, I'll eat like a little bit more, but there's only a few more things in here. Everybody has had these. I'm trying to figure out whenever it was um, first, it first came out. You know what? I am gonna eat some of this, so that makes three more candies I'm eating out of like maybe six more products that I have to show you. But anybody who's anybody has had Big League Chew. It is the best freaking gum on this planet. And you buy it, and it's like we used to whenever we were younger, and we would watch our parents or like their friends at baseball games, or you know wherever because. Excuse me, you would always see this being sold. This is actually how I found this out when I was a little girl. You would see this stuff being sold in the um, the stands. What do you call them? Yeah, like the stands, the baseball stands that they would sell, the kiosks or whatever. And they would always sell this as like the candy at the baseball games or football games even. And basically what it is, is it's just chew. Like it, they made it look like kind of like chew. And like you see how like, he has some right here. We would, as kids, always put it around our jaw and make it look like we had a big dip in. <laughs> and then I remember when I was like 15 and somebody gave me a real dip on the school bus and I threw up all over the floor and like whenever he was going down a hill, all this, the throw up would like seep to the edge of the bus. But anyway. Sitting in a bullpen one summer night long ago, Portland Mavericks left-hander Rob Nelson came up with a fun new bubblegum idea. Shredded gum in a pouch. How original. He called it Big League Chew. 
Rob's teammate Jim Booten found a gum company to make Big League Chew, and in no time at all, it became the must-have bubble gum for players of all ages. Today, Big League Chew is still the fun gum that keeps your mouth from getting dry when the game is on the line. It's the number one selling shredded bubble gum in the world with over 750 million pouches sold. That doesn't seem like a lot. Anyway. Big League Chew is the gum of choice for ball players who play the Ripken way, with grit, determination, and a true passion for playing the game that they love every day. Follow Ripken Baseball and share your hashtag Big League Bubbles to show the world that you play the way. Now that wasn't on there, obviously, in like the 60s or so, wherever. Probably the 80s. But anyway, let's open this. Oh my god. It says right here, contains phenylalanine. Phen Wait, how do you pronounce this? Phenylalanine. Phenylalanine. That's like a, uh, what is that? That's something that you shouldn't probably eat. I, I've heard of it. They don't put it in candy anymore, I believe. Oh, but they don't, uh, grape was always my favorite. But by the end of the night when you're eating so much of this, like your mouth gets all like, like gross like not gooey but like sour like raw in a way not the kind that sour patch kids gives you anyway this is what it looks like kind of it's like shredded gum that's all it is with a lot of powder on it to keep it nice and dry so we'll take this dip here that's how my husband does it like i'm not kidding you he like licks his fingers and then like swirls it around the can whenever there's like no chew left anyway Oh, my husband. Ugh. I forgot I had a broken filling. No wonder my teeth hurt. <laughs> but you've seen what I was doing there. I was putting it in. A <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. But the gum becomes so soft and so gooey. I'd always eat it. And then I remember one day I got really sick from it. Like... I'm not kidding you, like I got really ill. <laughs> and I like how you can kind of just wrap it up. Ta-da! A little bit hard to blow a bubble. Kind of like bubble tape. And you know what? <clears throat> I didn't even include the penny candies in here. I didn't include, there's probably hundreds more candies out there that I didn't get to include that's been so old. My neck, this is itching my neck so bad. What's it, choke me. <laughs> mm. oh. But I'm not gonna, that's what it looks like, it looks like gum. That on the other hand looks like something else on it. You know what? Just forget it. Use your imagination. It looked like the one thing. <laughs> okay. I'm really... I thought about opening this, but I actually really don't like taffy. You know, I had the perfect video idea a while ago. I was going to use the Yeti mic. And I think it was after the IDK video where I explained to you guys what happened with my mother-in-law and, like, about my teeth. And you got... Well, not you guys, but... The haters that love to hate watch, which there's actually a website, there's a few websites that talk mad shit on me. Um, Guru Gossip, this other one I can't think about, and even Reddit, like they have like a subreddit that's all about talking bad on ASM artists like me. Tony Bomboni was one of them. Minx Laura, she was my absolute favorite ASM artist, but I just, I don't get tingles, you know what I mean? It's not her or anything, there's no grudge or anything, she's an amazing person. But sometimes you want to just explore and whatever. They talked probably the worst on her, and she did, she's like the nicest fucking person in the world. I don't know why I'm opening this when I said I wasn't. Anyway, I was going to make a video, and I was going to call it, um, what was I going to say? It was like salty. It was just going to be like, quit being salty, ASMR quit being salty, and then it was going to be me eating saltwater taffy. Alright. But anyway, 
this is the Laffy Taffy. This is also, you can tell like whenever it's Willy Wonka because of the, like the design on it is like really colorful and like trippy. It, see, this is why I can't stand Taffy. It, it, do you see what I mean? All right, I'll take a little bite. It doesn't even stretch, it's not even real. Mm -mm. I do not like that. You can kind of taste the blue raspberry, but it's kind of like, I don't like it. Ugh. Now, I'll be honest with you. I believe this was from the 70s, but don't quote me on it. I'm not sure. How do you even wrap this up? You know what I mean? <laughs> Ew. Alright. I wanted to eat these. This is probably another one of my favorite candies. Absolutely. I don't know why they keep putting these thoughtful portions. It's just like, eat the whole thing. That's the portion. This... Everybody has had this. I love the smell of the packaging. I love eating the stick. I love the powder. Now, I'll be honest with you, the stick is like, like I wouldn't eat that if it was sold individually. Like candy cigarettes are like, without like the smooth outside, like the inside of these sticks are basically what candy cigarettes are. Which by the way, I forgot about those too. Now those candy cigarettes have been around since like the 20s or 30s, like have to be. But for those of you who don't know, Fun Dip is also a Willy Wonka candy. Um, I got the one that changes color. They make all kinds of color, like cherry and blue raspberry. And this stuff is the Raz Apple Magic Dip. Fun Dip has always stayed with their design. Um, it's always looked like this. But what it is, and I'm not, I really don't want to open it, is there's this like stick in here. It's a white stick and it has fun dip written on it or Nestle or something and then you have a blue powder in here it's bright blue like this color right here and when you open it you lick the stick you lick it and stick it yeah stick it right in the powder usually I would like scoop it out and like no I would scoop it out and eat it but and then the powder turns green your tongue turns green that's why it's like blue green but the taste is so good like sometimes it's like the nickel nips it's like they have that candy because of the way it looks you know what I mean but and the taste just isn't well but this stuff is so good like I could go through boxes of this stuff and my kids like them too but I try not to give them to them often because they just spill it all over the place <laughs> all right we have a couple more to go in go through and then we will be done two of the same things here, hold on. Now, I am going to try these because I've never had one of these in my whole life, but first things first, I'm not going to open this. Everybody has had to have a blow pop. Blow pops are literally it's just a lollipop with gum in the center, but, and the gum's always flavorless. Like, you have flavor for literally a split. It's like zebra gum, and I love zebra gum. I don't know why I didn't include that in this haul, but I couldn't find it, I don't think. I didn't look for it, but these are the Charms Blow Pops, and they're so good. Like, they have watermelon, cherry. The watermelon always tastes like the smell of a brew. Excuse me. I used to tell my mom that when I was little. I was like, Mom, Dad. I was like, the watermelon Blow Pop always tastes like a broom, and they're like, how do you know what a broom tastes like? I'm like, <laughs> just kidding, but yeah, it's just a lollipop with gum in the middle. It's very good. It's very old, very... I'm not going to consider it vintage because... Now, my husband didn't want me to call this video vintage because vintage, he said, means that the candy should actually be really old. But I'm talking about, like, the brands and looks and everything like that, so technically I can get away with it. The original peanut butter, by the way. Gardeners, like I mentioned earlier. All over the world, like they have their chocolates, everything. The world, I'm, the world is not the U.S. Trust me, but uh, definitely the U.S.A. Gardeners has made its way around. 
and this is the most delicious peanut butter melt away you will ever have in your whole life bet oh, oops. if I'm wrong I will send you four thousand dollars these are delicious and you should definitely try them they're like a uh, very soft it's already melting in my hands it's not even hot in here a very soft chocolate um, outside with like slits in it and then the peanut butter in the middle is not like any peanut butter it's not too thick it's like so creamy and good but right now my teeth really can't handle it like I've tried so much candy oh I dropped it no wonder I'm gonna save this for last the only other thing I have You know what? Uh, mm, I'll try it. But this is also Gardner's. It's basically a milk pretzel twist. I think it has peanut butter in it. No, it doesn't. Corn syrup, salt, soda, and leavening. Anybody who's ever worked with ingredients, tell me what leavening is. Is it like a... Anyway, this is another one of Gardner's candies. It says... Tyrone PA 16686. That's near Pittsburgh, I believe. Or no, it's by Altoona. I don't know. Well, no, Tyrone. I said this was made near Pittsburgh. Anyway, it's a delicious pretzel, and I'm telling you, like, what's special about Gardner's is the chocolate. Like, it's not... You can tell the difference between good chocolate. Like, in fact, they say most Americans have never even tried chocolate. Like, real chocolate... Like the percentage is so high. If you tried raw, real chocolate, like you would like be like, you know what I mean? Because it's so sweet. Like it's so sweet. It's almost bittersweet. Like you need to mix it with milk and all kinds of ingredients. Like, like I said, if you just ate a cocoa bean, you'd get sick. Like it's not what people think it is. They're like, oh, let's go get a chocolate candy bar. I've, I love chocolate. I've eaten so much. It's like you've, I, I guarantee you've probably never tried it. Like. You can try like near real chocolate, like it shows the percentage of it and everything at like a lot of whole food stores, like raw, organic, vegan, local stores and stuff like that. But I have never in my life tried these. Or you know what, I take that back. Yes, I have. Sorry. I don't know why it's like flipped. Anyway. I have tried these I think once. They sell them at the movie theater where my husband and I go and he likes to get these. These are really old. I know they are and they've always kept the same design as whenever I was younger and remember looking at these. Delicious candy coated milk caramels. I hate caramel. Caramel. Car caramel. Caramel, 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 caramel. Which is it? Can you do tomato? Yeah, Vic loves these, so I'm just gonna try one. They don't look as dark as they do on the front. Hold on. Ugh. Yeah, just ew. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's like a uh, mm, chocolatey kind of outside. I can't eat this. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, no way. Some people really enjoy them. Like, seriously, some people truly do. I feel like this is very messy. <laughs> I can remember these since I was very, very little. In fact, we went to a place called uh, Wolf's Cavern or Wolf's Tavern or something. It's a uh, literal, like a wolf's, it has wolves everywhere. It's, you go in the winter time, you can go in the cave, Penn's Cave, Penn's Cave, in, near Penn State. It's like a cave that you go in, it's all lit up, it's gorgeous. And then when you come out, excuse me, you're on like a lake and there's all these like tamed wolves and bears and all kinds of stuff around. It's beautiful. Like there's no animal abuse when I say tamed. I mean, they were raised there because of the wildlife and stuff like that. And in the gift shop, I can remember them always selling these. 
like you always find these at like craft stores and you know like older time stores like these have been around for ages maybe this was one of the first candies ever made because you can just tell like it's like candy on a stick you know anybody could do that so that makes it kind of old and I just like I said I really enjoy the fact that they've kept these candies around and alive and going even if they probably don't sell as good like mallow cups I don't really see people eating them at all anymore but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video um I especially especially enjoyed it I love you guys so very much and I hope you got some laughing in it or just had some fun you know what I mean so I guess I will see you in tomorrow's video please don't lose your teeth like Luna. All right. Bye guys.